Have you ever thought to not look whom you play for whole TT? What? Like, even afterward? Like, I play the game and then even after I don't look? I mean, that's pretty Chad. I don't know how Chad I am. Should you get your courses as an 1850? Um, how about you do this as an 1850? Uh... How about you do this? You take the free sample, and if you like it, you buy it. You should take a sample. They're free. It's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. We have two and a half out of four. My brain's really not focusing today. I'm not... I'm really not having a great time. Okay, we're going to play this line that we've played a lot recently in tournaments, B3, Bishop B2. Recently, I finished up the English course on Chesley, so I should be well prepared with some interesting ideas. In general, these are the interesting ideas here. That is kind of what you're going for. Now, you don't always commit, like sometimes black goes here and then there's, you know, there, there ain't much. But this is a very sneaky little move. And as you can see from my opponent's reaction, they are already quite bewildered. A lot of people here will rush to trade off pieces because they're like, oh, well, if you don't have any pieces, you can't checkmate me. It's not like the most naive approach. Kind of makes sense. But, uh... Yeah, and so here... It's either queen b1 or queen c2. I'm gonna go queen b1. Now, in case it's not obvious, that is very... I mean, it, it, if, if it's not yet obvious to the opponent that that's the point, they're probably not particularly strong. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember what to do here. But I think it's just straight up this move. Like, you, you just go for it. Now, as you see, my opponent is quite stunned. Hopefully they don't, you know... They don't do the ye old title Tuesday, <laughs> which is... Uh... Yeah, play perfectly after here. Um, question is, do I take with the bishop here? Obviously, this looks very natural, so I'm going to do it. But I, I have a weird feeling. There are some positions that's to take with the pawn. Okay, Th this is very appetizing. Yeah. Now... I don't think there's anything special here for me. Like, I don't think I'm immediately winning. Um, I'm gonna go here. Obviously, this is this is still part of the gambit. I would like to have complete control over the dark squares. My opponent doesn't want me to. I have this. I mean, this looks looks bad, dude. For my opponent, this looks dangerous. I'm just gonna go right back. Now you can't even. I guess I allowed this. Although then I have, right? Uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a day of uh, very poor decision making. Very poor. Like, I've allowed counterplay. I've not caught on to my opponent's defensive resources. Just a bad day. Just haven't played that well today. So I guess if I can't play well, I should just play really fast. That's sort of... Sort of the other, you know... The other point. Uh, I, I, I think this is a good move, because I think I need to control my opponent's pawn moves. I think black is going to go for something like this. I like. I can't calculate at all. I mean, sitting there smiling at the position. She's just like... Mm. I think I'm I think I'm looking at that. Crazy. Dude, f f just the best move. I mean, that's got to be the best move. It's got to be the best move. Like it, it it stops a lot of things and I I don't get to go here now. Yeah, black is going to untangle here and probably not even nah, not even be worse might be a bold claim. Cuz I still I still have some Okay, I'm winning a pawn now. That will help. I've won a pawn. Pawn is a pawn. Now I will drop the bishop back to e2. Yeah, 
yeah, I've like played horrendously today. They don't want to go there, but let's do it. We have to get rid of the knight. I think the knight is a problem. We can take, play king e2. Okay, then we're, we're up a pawn in a rook end game, which obviously can't be bad. Uh, taking the open file can't be bad. Oh, e5, wow. Okay. Hold. Can I long castle here? Is that stupid look? I mean, it looks crazy. 29th move, castling. Chad. Get my rook in the game now. I mean, I, I feel like I have to, right? I, I have to. I play king c2, rook f1. Black is gonna... Yeah, so this is the move I was expecting. Can I... Can I... Can I pin with this rook? No, then there's f3. But then I have, like, a bishop move, maybe? I mean, the easiest is just to trade, right? Play, like, rook f1. Just counterplay everywhere! the part of the game I struggle with the most. Not allowing counterplay. I'm like such an optimist that it's so hard for me to buck, just buckle up and not allow anything. Okay, bishop d3. This is mate, by the way. Low key. Can it, get, can, it, can it be stopped? Bishop f5, no? I just win. Rook h6. Nice win. That was good. I played fast. I kept the pressure. I won. 26-04. Oh, I beat a GM. Super casual GM win. Nice. Played, played, played pretty well, I think. 97%. <laughs> Alright. We locked in. Alright, that's a good one. 97% versus GM. Big dub. See, this is, the, again, you say this is the stuff you don't get on twitch.tv forward slash or kick.com forward slash or wherever, rumble.com. I don't know where he streams at this point. Who gave the biggest bag? But yeah, we played a nice little English, English Aroni, and then we hit him with one of these. Queen B1 is obviously not the best move. You know, we had a little, pr okay, here, I, I mean, 94 is idiotic. Really bad move. Um, I, I missed Queen F6. It's like that kind of a day. But then, you know, we still kept the positional pressure. We played H3. He blundered. He didn't actually blunder. It's the best move. Long castles with top engine move. Twenty ninth move castling, just like you were taught in the How to Play Chess for Beginners video. On the twenty ninth move, you castle queenside. That's what you do. I mean, it was very nice positional game. I felt I put lots of good pressure, and I, you know. Anyway, um, oh, someone's calling me. <laughs>